What's up guys, welcome to a style of video that I actually haven't done in quite a while, but uh, I figured I would do this because it's a kind of video that's fun for me to do. I don't know if it's fun for you guys to watch, but uh, I kind of had the idea to do one of these after I recorded the Blood Blockade Battlefront video because that one, I was literally listening to the music while setting up the review and dancing along to it. And so uh, obviously since I'm sitting, the dancing portion's probably not gonna happen, but what may happen is what I normally do where I sort of drum along, so I'm gonna add that in as an option. Sing along, well, we'll see if that happens or not. Just depends on how good the, uh, how good the video is and how good the actual music is, so. Eh, I mean. Apart from being really, really loud in my ears, that one's pretty normal. I'm gonna try to keep my hands up here so they don't tap, because I do that without thinking sometimes. Also, if this is muted, just keep in mind that if I turn the volume way down, it's because I don't want to get, you know, content ID'd like I did for a, uh, you can only do like a eight second segment or eight to 10 second segment of audio. And the one that I got flagged for in my last video was 12 seconds long. So two seconds and it's all screwed up. <sighs> no bobbing your head, no tapping your fingers, no singing along. This one's not too hard, but it's still. <sighs> What's, what's, like, not this song so much, but like when Fairy Tale was on in other shows, it doesn't help that it's cold in the apartment a bit, but it's also, like, I will get goosebumps when I hear some of these songs. Mm. They're just catchy is the problem. Like, a lot of these just have this catchy nature to them that makes me want to tap my fingers and feet. Uh, like this one. Like, it's not even the kind of show that I'm really into, but they just have good songs. Not even good songs, just just catchy. Mm. Not as uh, not as difficult, unfortunately. <laughs> yep. Mmm. This one's really hard. What makes it even harder is I've, like, I just finished recording a couple takes for my for my cover, and so I'm like fresh off of trying to sing, which may also be why my voice is <laughs> a little not great. Ooh, yeah, yeah, it's a good song. It's even harder for the ones that I did drum covers of because I know how they're supposed to be played, and I want to tap along because I know how they're played. Oh. Think of other things. This, this video is nice in terms of the songs they're choosing. Mm. Like this, this is just a practice in musical masochism for me right now. Uh. The hard thing is, is I want to rock my head along, too. <laughs> These guys are picking all of the freaking ringers. Rock your head. This is like no head banging. It's like I don't even want to look at the. I'm not even looking at the screen because I'm just trying to not focus on it. Good song, but not one I would really feel like I need to rock my head to or tap. Like, I don't know. The more pop style songs definitely don't make me feel that way. But the rock ones are just murder. Mm. 
That's not fair. That's not fair. That drum beat, though. It actually... Ugh. Every time I do these videos, I'm reminded how much more... I'm reminded how much more effort it takes for me not to tap along, because I will literally listen to music and tap along without even thinking about it. This is actually really hard. Ugh. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much. They've not picked a bad song. There's been a few that I haven't really felt compelled to rock my head to or tap, but like this... Every song in this is... I just said that and now I don't even know this song. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's from free, obviously, but... Ooh. That's pretty good, actually. Mm. That one's really good too. Don't not, don't rock your head. You ever had that like moment where you go to actually like do something and then you like have to stop yourself? Like I literally almost hummed along to that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm like, this is actually difficult. I don't know why every time I do these videos, I don't think they're difficult. And then like, as soon as I get into it, I'm reminded that I... Ah, this part. For, I'm gonna talk because I don't wanna rock my head. For reference, a lot of shows that I've watched in the history of this channel have been because of the opening songs. In fact, what got me into back into anime was Soul Eater, and I started watching Soul Eater because of the opening. So, a lot of my choices in anime are music-based. And my god. This is so hard. It's a good song. Uh, that's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. This is extremely difficult to just, like, stay totally still. If I talk, I won't be compelled to sing along. I also, I, like... Uh, it also doesn't help when I use my reference headphones, so I can hear everything, and they sound so good. Ooh. Come on, just... Ooh. Stop playing that sick beat, please. It's too good. No, don't go to an even sicker beat. <laughs> <coughs> Come on. That's not fair. Mmm, a drum beat. Not a bad song. Again, not really feeling compelled to rock my head to it. But still. Mmm. Granted, the, that song's actually just kind of funny to me because of the... Uh, misheard lyrics. Dragon Ball! Yeah. Uh-huh. It's crazy how far the art style came. Or not art style, but like the animation. Except for Beerus vs. Goku in Dragon Ball Super. See... Some of these songs aren't difficult because I almost see them as memes. Oh, and this is such a great song to do a drum cover of, too. Leave a comment letting me know if you would want to see me try to redo 
the cover of Unravel. And the last anime is probably Pokemon. How could I have guessed? Probably because it's so iconic. I know it's my destiny. Oh, you're my best friend in a world we must defend. I failed because, my god, who can't sing along to that? Like, come on. <laughs> you teach me and I'll teach you Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I failed catastrophically. At the very end, you know, I just gave up on that one because you know what? Who's not gonna sing to the Pokemon opening? Uh, who's not gonna sing along to that? Uh, I very clearly didn't take that last one very seriously. <laughs> it's just so good. I should have sung along to Unravel. No, the whole point was not to sing along. Uh, oh well, whatever. I. Oh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I am kind of serious. If you guys want to actually see me redo once this is all over and I can actually get back to the to my parents' house and, and get on my drum set, let me know if you guys want to see me redo the uh, the opening for Tokyo Ghoul's uh, Unravel. But um, otherwise, uh, let me know how you guys uh, how you guys did. Leave a comment down below letting me know how you guys did, if you made it through all of them or if you failed at a certain one or if you failed at Pokemon like I did. Uh, and also, while you're down there, um, there's a link in the description just below the like button to where you can go and watch the original one of these videos. So you should definitely go do that and support the original creator. And otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Hopefully I'll do a little better next time. But uh, yeah, make sure to be there and have a good one. I mean, maybe someday I'll stop trying to promote these t-shirts and hoodies and awesome long sleeve shirts. But yeah, that's not today. You guys should definitely go over and check it out. I put a lot of time and effort into the designs and they're not that expensive and because everything's going on right now and I don't exactly have consistent work, it, you know, helps. Every bit does help. But uh, anyway, just figured I'd try to promote the shirts one last time and also maybe, maybe you'll buy one this time.